Hello, Phil here from the Snacks and Stories Club, from the Greggs Foundation and us at the National Literacy Trust. Now today you will have heard the story of Sharky McShark and if you enjoyed that why not check out other book titles as well. There's loads to find out about sharks with sharky facts in non-fiction titles such as these or if you prefer a longer chapter book check out Julia and the Shark by Kieran Millwood Hargrave as well. It's a fantastic read. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cartoony shark like the one in the story. So, have your pens and pencils ready and your uh, children's workbooks and let's find out how to draw a cartoony shark. Here goes. So, of course, the most important part of the shark, the most famous, is the shark's fin. So, let's start with that. About here on your page, draw the fin. It's like a triangle shape that's slightly wonky like this, okay? Once you've completed that, from here, we're gonna draw the, uh, the shark's snout or nose. So from here, draw a curved line going down like that. Now, don't forget to pause the video if you need a bit of extra time on any of the bits that we're drawing today. From here, we're gonna draw the shark's smile coming up. So from the end of the snout, a nice curve coming up like this, with one of those cheek marks like that. From here, we're going to draw the bottom part of the shark's jaw. So bring that down like that, another curve, and there you go. Now you should see that big grin of the shark. And what is inside a shark's mouth? Of course, sharp pointy teeth. So put those in, just those kind of triangle shapes. Put as many or as few as you like into the mouth, starting to take shape now. And if you've got room, if, if you feel confident, you could put a little curve there for a tongue, maybe shade a bit in on the bottom of the mouth, like this, behind the tongue and teeth, which makes it a bit more 3D. Brilliant. Okay, next we're gonna draw the shark's eyes. Now, because it's a cartoony shark, we can draw both the eyes on the same side of the head, like this. Okay, so two nice round circles. And then the pupils in the middle, mine's looking straight at us, yours can be, look, can be looking up, down, left, right, that's up to you. Now, when you draw a cartoony picture, a lot of the personality and expression is in the eyebrows. So you could decide to give your shark just two normal eyebrows like that. I think he looks quite friendly, it looks quite nice. but. If you want to draw a mischievous or an evil character with an evil plan, it's the eyebrows going down in the middle, like a V-shape, that give it that kind of personality. Hopefully now you can see that is a bit more of a scary shark. You could give your shark eyelashes, which for some reason makes it look like a girl shark. Or, be even more creative, why not colour in one of the eyes, Give it a string for an eye patch. You've got a pirate shark. It's up to you. You make your drawing, your character personal to you. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna give mine normal eyebrows like that. <laughs> okay, now from here on the bottom lip, you're gonna draw a curve like this, which is the shark's belly. Next, it's the shark's tail. It's another triangle. This time on its side, but don't quite join it up there. Okay, you've got the shark's tail. And then finally, another curve from here, right back to where you started. And that completes your fishy shark shape. Now, at the moment the shark can swim, it's got a tail, but it does need some fins to help propel him forward. So add a fin at the side, and it needs some gills to help it breathe. So there you have it, that's our complete um, shark. But now you can personalize it even more, make it your own character. I'm gonna add perhaps mm, a scar here. My shark's been in the, in the middle of a fight. And maybe, oh yeah, a tattoo, an anchor tattoo. He loves the sea on his arm there. And yeah, I know, a bite mark out of his tail. So now I've made him 
bit more of my own kind of character. I wonder what you're going to do to yours. Maybe he's going to wear a hat, maybe some other features as well. Or you could just leave it plain. Fantastic. So, that's some bubbles. He is underwater. And have a think to yourself, what else might be under the water there with your shark? Hmm, we're going to make a setting for our character. Well, quite an easy one, of course, is seaweed, of course, coming up from the bottom of the, uh, of the seabed there. Some simple lines. It might have some, some coral growing there too. Coral is quite easy. It can come in lots of different shapes. It's like a bumpy cactus style tree with some dots and circles to make it look rough. Oh. You might draw a starfish there on the seabed. Wonder what you're going to draw. I'm going to draw, hmm, I know. Up here behind the shark is going to be a little fish. Same, uh, same shape as the shark, but it's much, much smaller, okay? If you want to draw a worried face, draw the eyebrows going the other way. So this shark, this fish is worried of the shark. Wouldn't you be? <laughs> Down here, I'm thinking, on the seabed, a crab. How about a crab? I draw a crab by doing like a human eye shape like this. A wiggly line down the middle, and then double that up. Start off with, I think it looks like a clam, doesn't it? Or a shellfish. But if we add those eyes on stalks, it starts to look much more crab-like. It's looking up at the shark, it's got a grumpy face, and those eyebrows coming down in the middle, which I think makes him look really cross and angry. So get away from me, shark. And to go with that, of course, you have those claws or pinches like this. One angry looking crab. Finally, I've got a bit of space here, so I'm thinking, a, a jellyfish. If you draw a semicircle like this, give it some eyes, looking up, it's got a worried face. Again, those, those eyebrows are going that way. Curvy line here. More curvy lines coming here. You've got yourself a worried looking jellyfish. So, I wonder what your underwater scene and your shark are going to look like. Your teachers or your adults can share them online with the hashtag Greg's After School Club so we can all see them. And you might want to add some colour or even write a story about your shark or add a character description in the part of the book where we've left room for that. So, I hope you enjoyed your drawing. hope you enjoyed your story. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the Snacks and Stories After School Club. Bye for now.